Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. Well, the Australian dollar is still looking for a direction since breaking above this resistant area around 76.95. Currently though, the market likely to see one more challenge to the upside as you can see here from the MACD just about breaking through the zero axis and the RSI is still relatively uh, keeping to a bull tone. However, it is viewed that towards this top side region around 77.80 or around that point could see a bull trap set off. What I mean by that is, is the market buys towards the top side of the range and eventually sees a sharp downturn and then quickly bows as it falls towards the support region, which is now seen roughly around the area of 76.95. I do feel though the market is looking for a direction and if so, the US dollar does stage a recovery after its recent drop since late Friday, is that we could see eventually a downturn for the Australian dollar. The euro is still struggling for a direction since breaking above this trend line from 1.206070 with the dollar index now inver inverse head and shoulders negated does expect to see at least one more test to the upside but I feel towards 1.2170 may find a bit of a contest there and actually could see a rejection. The reason behind that is although the MACD is somewhat flat, as it just breaks through the zero axis, the RSI is looking for a direction as well and could see the US dollar. Now the dollar index, which measures the greenback strength against a basket of six major currencies, has been slightly sideways in the last 24 hours as it trades at 90.4045. So therefore, keep an eye on that because if the dollar index does stage a recovery, then could see a pullback towards this bottom side of the range around the low 120s. Looking at the dollar yen, the market is still somewhat negative as the bears weigh their paws on the support. It is assessed that we are looking down towards the region around 104.15.25 and reassess from there and maybe a little bit lower towards the support line around 103.80. Nevertheless, with the technicals somewhat heavy, does support the bear case. Since the break of 137.45.65, the pound has continued to push higher and now looking towards this level of 138.60. Slight hesitation there from overnight, but nevertheless, the market is pushing back towards that top side of the range. It is viewed that we are overbought, although the trend is somewhat bullish as we look at the ADX and also with the MACD also. So therefore, we shouldn't rule out the challenge to the upside, but whether or not a bull trap can be set from around 138.60 is another matter. Let's see how it plays into tonight in, when the European session opens. Still a lot of churning around this top side of 144.90. As you can see here, we've got two dojis and also close to a greystone doji. Therefore, it does imply that the contest is likely to play into another ball bear challenge. Let's see if the market does actually reject this level. If we do see a little bit of uh, sterling weakness, and a little bit more yen strength, then we could see a pushback towards the bottom side of the range around 144, or a little bit lower to around 143 and a half. As you can see, the gold took the challenge to the top side, but didn't continue on as it anticipated. And from the turnaround, let's see if the market can close under 1,828. If so, then that would see a pullback towards the 1,800 mark and reassess from there. Technically, not as strong as it was perceived yesterday. Looking at the top side of the range, around $58, $59 a barrel for oil, I feel the market is getting very much into a point where we could see a sharp downturn back towards the bottom side around $55. And let's reassess from there. As you can see, the RSI is extreme, so therefore it does warrant at least a short-term correction before any upside move. That wraps it for today. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, look out for the intro report. I hope you enjoy the rest of the day.